If you have a power pruner, a steel power pruner, and the tip has broke and it won't spin your machine anymore, I'm gonna show you how to make one like this to keep your machine running. So if you've had these had this problem, you're very familiar with these stripping out just like that. So watch the video and I'll show you how to repair one of these. I have several, three of them sitting here, steel power pruners I have purchased over the years. This one is my latest one, HT131. It's two years old. Uh, all of them have given me trouble. All of them run. All of them have one major problem that drive me crazy. And that is the tips on these. Well, the one at both ends. It's this little plastic part right here. It slides in and has, here's a metal piece sticking out the front of it like that. So that sticks in there like so. And that turns your chainsaw or head trimming attachment or whatever else you might have on it. Uh, the problem is these are plastic and the metal, eventually they break. Uh, if you can get those parts, piece of cake, pull it out, replace it and you're good. We are in the middle of COVID. Parts are absolutely impossible to find and I need this machine tomorrow. And the only thing I could think to do was, and I had a fourth machine, so I, I've been stripping that over the years. That was my very first one over the years for uh, parts. So I pulled the shaft out of this other one. And I've used all the extra parts from the old ones in there. This isn't the first time it's happened. But now that I can't get any more parts, what do I do? So I decided I would try to make my own. So I reused the metal square stock tips to make these new aluminum pieces. I slid them in, but to do so, I had to do some grinding on uh, a piece that I had to make it fit in the hole. It's a little smaller than the tip is. So I ground them down to slide them in and then they stopped at the point where I stopped grinding and which is perfect because they don't slide all the way in that way. And that seems to work fine. I won't have any more of that. I'll have to buy some square stock that will be about the same size and try to make that work for the next ones. So in the meantime, if you have any questions, please give me a, a message and I'll do what I can to help you answer that. Thank you for watching. Uh, I took this piece of shaft, cut it off right there, slid it in, and uh, well, actually I had to pound that in because like I said, that was bigger than the, the hole. That's what keeps sliding all the way through. So I smashed the outside with a hammer so that it will still go inside the shaft, but stop right there. And uh, believe it or not, that worked. Uh, as long as that doesn't wear out and fall all the way in or this doesn't wear out and wallow out the hole and it's working. I also did another one. I thought of another idea. Uh, the same thing. I had to grind that, get it to fit in, and slide it in. And then I grooved it all the way around with a grinder and put a piece of wire on there and twisted it shut. And uh, that seems to be working as well. So they both work. I can't argue with it at the moment. Although that shaft's about shot. The main thing, I gotta keep my main one going, which is this one. And hopefully, hopefully that'll, uh, not break again anytime soon but i got a new one and actually it wasn't the uh it wasn't the saw end that broke on me they have another one in the back you have to pull this apart slide this off or pull these two pieces apart and, and then slide this off and there's another one back here it's a little bit longer shaft but they do seem to work in both ends at least for a little while and that keeps it uh that's just what you need to keep it going so uh, I'm not going to show you the repairs and how I did it. I didn't videotape that. I didn't know if it was going to work. But I did want to show you so that if you have to do it yourself, and chances are you're like me, especially in the, in a, in the business of tree trimming, you have to get parts and supplies. And when something's broken, you go buy a new one. You don't sit around for a week trying to fix something. So 
Only problem is I can't even find a new machine right now, so I have to make the old ones work. So I've got three machines with a fourth shaft that I'm cannibalizing to use all its parts on to keep one, possibly two of them going. Good luck. I hope that works for you as well. What else can we do these days?